You guys, we've got to stop making it harder than it is. These five simple things will keep your house tidy. Period. Let's talk. I hate this video because it means I have to face the fact that mom was right and nobody wants to say their mama was right. A messy bed really does affect my mood. In fact, it affects the whole vibe of my house. If you don't believe me, just think about it. When you're scrolling through Pinterest, do you stop on any of the inspiration pictures that has an unmade bed? Never in the history of the world, right? So we need to get this bed done now and every day if you wanna make your house look better, simple and easy. Laundry is a beast that must be tamed. The problem is, is that we keep buying more and more clothes because we don't have any clothes. because we need it, because we can't find it, because it's all in a pile. So my piles just get bigger and I never tame the beast. I just keep feeding him. So bonus tip, by reducing how much you have, you can do smaller, more efficient loads, which is better on all accounts because it's much easier to fold and put away that small load than that monstrous load. And it's never gonna build up and it's always gonna stay a lot more tidy. So stop trying to fix the problem by buying more and start reducing all that you have so that you can manage it. So I'm gonna tell you something that no other cleaning channel is probably gonna say. I want you to love your reflection, but not the mirror. Like, don't worry about that right now. I want you to love the reflection in your sink. I despise touching dirty dishes, especially when they've been sitting overnight and they're all slimy, you know? That is not all. In order to shine the sink, you've got to do a few extra steps. First thing, I just rinse it and just scrub it really quickly. Let's rinse it really good and we're done. Ooh. The final step is just to dry it all off and wipe it down. That's what it looks like every morning when I come in to fill up my water or to get my coffee. And a shiny sink is like a smile first thing in the morning. So the pile up, everybody has one. Usually there's one in every room and Fly Lady calls it a hot spot. So basically we're just talking about that place that you kind of throw things when you come into the room. So a two minute tidy of your hot spot will keep it from blazing out of control and you guys know what I mean. It's much easier to maintain something that's already kind of clean than to let it pile up, get enormous, and then now it's gonna take you an hour to go through all that paperwork. So stay on top of it every day. Keep it at a small, manageable amount of things to do. That is my tip. So one of my favorite things is just a really quick tidy up before bed. This doesn't mean that you're gonna do a deep clean. In fact, I would say I spend maybe five minutes doing this. All you gotta do is go through the room and just pick up anything that's obviously out of place. Now, when I lived in my little 800 square foot studio apartment, this was super obvious and I didn't even have to think about it because I lived in a small space and things that were out of place were right there in front of my face face and I couldn't ignore it. But as you move into a larger house or a bigger family, there are more little people who are helping you make the mess and you may not even notice that there's a pile of shoes growing at your entryway or maybe a couple of extra pillows have gotten stacked up in a corner for a pillow fort. Go ahead and walk through the house. Give yourself a few minutes to just grab things. If you need to take a basket and grab things as you walk through, do it. Don't ignore it and don't wait for it to pile up because piles turn into mountains. And mountains take a lot longer to clean than a really quick walkthrough. So of course the bonus tip I have is the one that's the most controversial. Getting dressed all the way to your shoes, it makes such a big difference. Now, I know a lot of you guys in the north, y'all don't do this because of all of the things that get tracked in the mud and the snow and all that stuff. I understand, but when you put on a pair of house shoes, and they can be shoes that never go outside, but actual lace up shoes, your brain is going to get you up and moving so much more. 
think of it this way. When you go to the gym, you don't go barefoot. You go with some running shoes. So get yourself a pair of house shoes so that your brain knows it's time to get moving. We don't want to be in our snugs. You and I both know that that just craves for us to snuggle in and watch some Netflix. And that is not what you want to do when you've got a house and kids and all the things to take care of. I keep myself moving and grooving because there's a lot of things to get done, but at night the shoes come off and I'm all about the Netflix. So guys, I am not going to tell you that you absolutely have to put on shoes. That is a personal choice. If you are one of the few that can get tons done and you're not feeling rushed or behind while in your house shoes, you're like fuzzy house shoes, good for you. This video is clearly not made for you. But if you're one of us moms who maybe don't get as much done as we'd like to get done and you might be a slight little bit on the lazy side or you're just overwhelmed by so much clutter and chaos going on then we're looking for ways to get motivated and the shoes motivate me i don't know if they're going to motivate you but it so worked for me like 10x what I got done in a day when I don't put my shoes on. If you're wanting to do things to get better, then you might have to give up some of that downtime, some of that snuggle time, some of the social media scrolling because it is a time suck and it's going to steal the time that you have to do other things. I think working smarter and not harder is the key, but these tips are meant to help you get a little bit better, help you get started down the road to, you know, controlling the clutter, whatever your situation is. I am not here to judge. I'm just saying this is what works for me. So I'm hoping it works for you. If you want to see how this actually works, join me on this video and we can walk through it together. Bye. Gaze upon the sky